Have you ever experienced unusual heart rates erratically? The average human heartbeat is between 60 to 100 beats per minute. But what happens when the heart accelerates faster? This is Jacob. He has tachycardia, a condition where the heart rate exceeds the normality of 60 to 100 beats per minute. This occurs when abnormality in the heart produces rapid electrical signals, which can almost lead to a sudden cardiac arrest, or in other words, heart attack. On the other hand, meet Aaron. He has bradycardia, the opposite condition where the heart rate is slower than what it normally should be. This low heart rate can result in the lack of oxygen being pumped into the heart to fulfill the body's needs and its dysfunction of the heart pacemaker to obtain regular heartbeats. Both conditions have very similar causes such as high blood pressure, damage in the heart tissues, inflammatory diseases, imbalance of electrolytes, and abuse of recreational drugs but also differentiate whereas bradycardia is caused by hypothyroidism and tachycardia is caused by hyperthyroidism. I know where you're thinking next. What are the treatments for them? How can we prevent it? For tachycardia, faster heartbeats mean more oxygen pumped through your body, right? Correct, but also wrong. One thing to keep in mind about this condition is that if your heart rate beats very fast, it may not effectively pump blood to the rest of your body, which leads to depriving your organs and tissues of oxygen and you do not want to end up like a fish out of water flopping rapidly. Treatments may vary among each disease that is linked to tachycardia, such as fever, blood loss, hyperthyroidism, arrhythmias. Both of them can be cured by prescription drugs or non-surgical procedures, so don't worry. And fun fact, tachycardia could make your heart beat as fast as a small dog of 100 beats per minute. For bradycardia, treatments may include intravenous atropine and artificial pacemaker that increases the heart rate in order to restore its natural rhythm. Fun fact about this, the average heart rate of bradycardia is 50 beats per minute, equivalent to that of donkey's normal heart rate. Statistics show that tachycardia has an overall prevalence of 1.3% in the United States. More females are likely to be affected by tachycardia, but however, males are most likely to be affected by bradycardia as well. The highest frequency of tachycardia in females is between ages 20 to 39 and ages 40 to 59 in bradycardia. There were no significant differences for prevalence rates in males, so you may or may not have to worry about that at all. Instead, use a pickup line to cheer up your significant other because they'll most likely have the higher chances of receiving a condition.